Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I am going to talk about the best of July. And what do I mean by that? I invited members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. This is my Facebook group, almost to 70,000 members. Unbelievable. Thank you guys so much for participating if you were a part of this. And thank you everyone for watching. Um, in this video, I'm going to share with you Big Money Bolos. I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And again, these are members of my Facebook group that saw this post and put the information in the comments so that I can bring it to you guys and share it. So if you would like to be a part of this video, you can go down and follow my Facebook group and look for this post. I do it every month and then I create the video. So again, let's get started. The first one is mine. Um, I always like to start it out and I picked this up at the Goodwill bins and I pay by pound at the Goodwill bins. And I do have videos on this channel of me actually digging through the bins. So you can check those out, but $1.79 a pound. So probably close to three bucks for this. It's a little bit heavy. It is a tablecloth and it's discontinued. I do believe it's a Fiesta indoor outdoor fabric tablecloth. 60 by 84 fallen petals and this is what it looks like i sold that for 70 dollars plus shipping on ebay the next item comes from um got junk in our trunk this is her youtube channel she is a bolo buddies member so she gets a shout out in this video as well and she got this she says bought the top only at a yard sale for 25 cents and sold for best offer of 40 dollars and it is an Empoli, I think that's how you say it, stopper, Italian avocado glass genie bottle decanter bubble top. How cool is that? The next one says, I bought this at a church sale for $75. I listed it high because mine was the only one and I was willing to wait. Only took a month to sell for full price. It is a Pendleton Northern Lights robe, wool blanket, jacquard, is it jacquard? Jacquard robe wool blanket. This is what it looks like. $349.99 plus shipping. I paid $7 for a dozen sets of vintage doll parts at a local thrift store and accepted an offer of $38 on Mercari for the lot of them. I was afraid I'd end up having them for a long time, but they sold in about a month. So it says vintage... I can't read it. Westrum Crafts. It's a little bit fuzzy, but this is what it looks like. I received a stack of vintage postcards from a family member for free. And this Fortune Series postcard from 1910 sold on best offer for $13.50 plus shipping within three days of posting. Um, so this one right here, it says Fortune Series. Certain postcards can go for big money. I actually have a video on postcards to be on the lookout for. It's a category video that I did. It looks like this. If you guys have not seen it, definitely go check that out so that when you are searching through postcards or see postcards, you know what to look for. Bought at a local thrift store, paid $2, sold for $185 plus 15 shipping. Buy it now on eBay. Starting bid was 100 but chose the buy it now option. Okay, so you can do um, an auction style listing, but have a um, buy it now option, or you can now offer best offer on auctions also. But it looks like they went ahead and did the buy it now of 185. They are rare 1970s Huggies diapers. Um, if you do not know, vintage diapers that are discontinued, older with the plastic backs are big money. This is what it looks like. And different brands, just search vintage diapers. You will see what I mean. Bought at a yard sale outside Pennsylvania for, wait for it, 20 cents. It was part of a cassette tape lot. I paid a dollar with a few other valuable wrap tapes. Um, was sold for my asking price of $100 plus shipping in about a week. It is Notorious B.I.G. Biggie Smalls tape cassette. Sold it for 100 bucks. Um, Rachel Strickland, uh, if you have not seen her YouTube channel, this is what it looks like. She is a bolo finder, but she found a ton of vintage cassettes at a thrift store. She has a video on it 
and she sold so many of them for big money. They were sealed in the original packaging. Just a fantastic find. But go check out Rachel Strickland. Pick this up at a yard sale for 25 cents, sold overnight for full asking price of $30. Kind of makes me wish I would have marked it a little higher. It is a, oh, I can't see it. I don't know what it is. Is it a massager? Again, the picture is a little bit blurry, but this is what it looks like. It'll probably focus in better in the video. So I apologize that I can't read it. Bought these at an online estate auction got 10 for $6 each, have sold six from 110 down to 46 each. It is a vintage Fisher Price animal rattle, rainbow elephant. Check it out. How cool is that? Wow. Okay. Found at the Goodwill for under $10. They go for about 160. It's a magic mill, high speed flour mill model, clean and tested. That's what it looks like. Okay, bought this at the Salvation Army for $1.99. I had no idea it was Briar until I used Google Lens. She sold this for $1,525. And she is a Bolo Buddies member. And her eBay store is Ramblin' Rose Resale. So definitely go and check her out. She also picked up this item for a dollar at a yard sale. And it sold for $74.99 on auction. Bought this from Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store in Tampa for $4.99 and sold it last week at an auction for $56. It looks like they're uh, little My Little Ponies. Bought at a local thrift store for a dollar and sold within three weeks for asking price. It is a Shark Sonic Duo Hard Floor and Carpet Cleaner Empty Reusable Bottle. So it's an empty reusable bottle, 39 bucks. I bought this, or I'm sorry, I bought it for a dollar. Look for comps. I did not find any on eBay with the same brand. After two weeks, somebody bought it for full price. Maybe a bolo indeed. And it is a bowling pin. It sold for $39.98 plus shipping. Bought this for a dollar at Walmart from the clearance aisle. Took a best offer of $30.50 plus shipping. Sold within a week of posting. So it is a true niagen true niagen i don't know capsules and boosts so is it maybe a vitamin i don't know that's what it looks like so a little retail arbitrage flip for you this one comes from josie and she's formerly designed by josie now she is in the life of a reseller on youtube this is her channel she said, bought in a clothing lot from an estate sale for $5. That means this cost me about 25 cents. Sold with 20% off coupon. Buyer is all in for $41.56. No branding, horrible pictures. And she said it took about three months to sell. This is made in Korea and pattern is what sold it. Vintage women's long sleeve silk blend button up blouse floral pattern peach pink. And this is what it looks like. Got this book two weeks ago at a Salvation Army for a dollar. Vintage New Orleans Mardi Gras Crew, K-R-E-W-E, -E, book. I knew it would sell to someone who collects Mardi Gras history items, but couldn't figure out how I should price it. Listed for $200, sent out an offer to watch her and sold for $175. Listed less than a week. This is what it looks like. This one comes from B Carried Away. She is also a moderator of this group. So go over to her YouTube channel, Be Carried Away, and sub her up. She is amazing, but she also spends a lot of time helping me take care of different things in this group. So um, it's a full-time job, I'm telling you. But Carrie is amazing. She is a big money bolo finder. Be sure to comp brands that feel high quality, even if you may not have heard of it personally. She paid $6.99 at the Salvation Army and sold these on best offer for $105 on Poshmark. Magnaini Enzo Combat Ankle Boots, Leather Suede, Wingtip Brown, Spain. And it looks like these retail for $450. Bought it at a Salvation Army for $3.94 and sold it for $49.99. She said, I am a member of your channel and watch it all the time. So many great tips. Trying to figure out how to go to the second level. You're so incredibly helpful and encouraging. Thanks for the bolo tips. Okay, Karen. So um, what you need to do, if you're already a member, 
it, it should say upgrade. Sometimes it will not show up on your phone and you have to actually do it from a laptop, but you should be able to hit upgrade and go to level two. And once you do that, I can uh, get your store information from you and I will share your store right here and also down in the description of the video. So um, thank you for sharing your bolo and I hope you can figure it out. Feel free to message me on uh, Messenger. And that goes for anybody. If you want a shout out of your eBay store or your YouTube channel, you can join memberships. Level two gets um, you put into the featured members video, which is a totally separate video. This is just a bonus shout out in this video. Okay, found at the Salvation Army for $4.95 and sold it for 150 plus shipping. Vintage 1990s Lisa Frank Forest Tiger Cub plastic tote bag stationary. If you do not know, Lisa Frank is a big money bolo. Just be careful because they are now using the big L and the big F again on their newer items. So you want to make sure it's vintage. The vintage items are what are going to go for big money. I bought this dress at a local thrift store for a dollar. There was nothing like it listed, so I priced it high at $85. I got an offer in less than 24 hours for 60 and I accepted. I think using good keywords and title definitely helped this one. Um, vintage 70s psychedelic hippie butterfly flower power mushroom peasant dress. <laughs> Those are good words. Paid $5 at a church sale back in June. Sold today for best offer of 200 plus. Buyer paid shipping. I probably could have gotten more by listing them individually, but ephemera is my main thing. I just knew these would sell and wanted to move them fast. Sold in about three weeks. I refunded the buyer 25 on the shipping. The buyer ca eBay calculator was way off and I had to correct weight and dimensions in the listing. They are 1960s mid-century modern vintage handmade satin beaded Christmas ornaments. Amazing. Um, somebody asked, what does MCM stand for? That stands for mid-century modern. Bought this Build-A-Bear Hello Kitty for 25 cents at a church sale. Came home and listed it and it sold in 20 minutes. Eek! Um, guessing she probably undersold it. Uh, usually if it sells really, really quick, that tends to be the case. Build-A-Bear Workshop Hello Kitty plush cat stuffed animal no bow. And I recently sold one of these also. Um, oh, somebody pulled up this one and they're just showing her this one sold for $69.95. But this one had the bow and the outfit, which is also going to increase the value. This is a vintage MCM mid-century modern mineral oil rain lamp. Some of these can go for crazy money. I picked mine up at a garage sale for $2.99. She said she was going to give it to me if I didn't want it. She said she was going to give it to me if I didn't want it. I don't know what that means. Said people had looked at it all day and passed it up. She said, or he said, I sold it for full asking price of $129 plus shipping. And that's what it looks like. Sounds like the lady at the garage sale just wanted it gone. <laughs> All right, I learned about this bolo from watching Courtney's YouTube videos. Thank you, Courtney. Oh, thank you for the shout out. I appreciate that. It says, I bought a bag of Boyd's Bears from Goodwill for $5. I knew to watch for the minis. There, yes, I did a whole video on um, Boyd's Bears to be on the lookout for. These specific ones are big money. So you can check out that video if you would like. It said there were two minis in the bag. First one had a small tear in the back of the sweatshirt and on the tush tag. It auctioned and sold for $91. The second one shown in the photo was in perfect condition and sold on auction for exactly 200 plus shipping. I started the auction for the second bear just as the auction for the first bear was ending. Buyers paid, both paid, yay. I made almost $300 for a $5 investment plus are about 10 more larger size Boyd's bears in the bag, which if nothing else could be bread and butter. Yep. Um, the big ones still sell and I still pick them up if I can get them for a dollar or less. I actually have a whole uh, kitchen size trash bag full of Boyd's bears that I picked up at a garage sale recently that I need to list um, because I got them so cheap and they will sell. There are still people that collect them, but those minis with the little sweatshirts, ooh, big money. All right. My son made me a pile of stuff he didn't need and asked me to sell this on eBay. Apparently, this is out of stock. Not sure if it's available anywhere besides eBay. Well, it sold in less than five hours. I asked my son where he got them, and he and we went back, but only found the singles. 
We took the last three from a random beauty supply shop. My son is beyond stunned. It is a one pack of bump fighter disposable razors and it sold for $75.99. That is awesome. I found this ornament at the Goodwill bins. My bins are 69 cents a pound for glass. I was so surprised this was still in there and in perfect condition. Listed and sold for full asking price within 24 hours for $45. It is a, McK a McKenzie Child's gold and white glass acorn. This is what it looks like. All right, this one comes from Leo's Treasures and she is a Bolo Buddies member. This is her eBay store. She said, I bought this at a garage sale for $1. It sold for full asking price of $56.95 and the buyer paid shipping. It's an African Bol Bolga, B-O-L-G-A, Ghana, oh boy, G-H-A-N-A, -A, Market Basket. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right or not. So that's why I spelled it. Okay, this one comes from the Quiet Thrifter. Here's her store, so it'll show you. It says, uh, bought this beautiful vintage original oil painting at a garage sale for a dollar and it sold for 65 on eBay. It's a vintage MCM framed original oil, oil painting, bouquet of flowers, artist signed. I adore selling vintage lamps. I bought this beautiful Brush McCoy lamp at Goodwill for $6.99, sold it in about a week, and the buyer paid shipping. Bought this at a garage sale for $1. I knew Springbok could be a bolo, and I knew vintage Halloween was a bolo. This print grabbed me enough I didn't bother to comp it. I took a chance and listed it high. Once I saw I had the only one used, the only used one available, it sold for full asking price of $99 within two weeks of listing. And this is what it looks like. I have um, a few this month. So I'm going to put one in this video and then the other two will be in the other video. Part two. Um, I have a few this month so far. This is my best one so far. I picked this up at a yard sale in April along with 19 other ducks for a grand total of $20. So essentially a dollar a duck. And it took about two months to sell on eBay. Had it listed for $249.99 and took a best offer of $200. It is a vintage leather Abercrombie and Fitch doorstop. Huh. I don't know. I don't think I would have known that was a bolo. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite big money bolo, an item you didn't know about, or just an item you thought was cool. And be sure to join the Facebook group. I will have it linked down in the description along with the featured um, members of my channel that shared this month in this uh listing or yeah post facebook post you can check them out down below as well thank you so much and i will see you at the next one thanks for watching she also saw oh my goodness you guys i'm so sorry <laughs>